Hey you guys, it's Roger Ralph, and today we're gonna talk about Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle. Now, this movie had a lot to live up to because I consider its predecessor, Jumanji, directed by Joe Johnson, starring the late, great Ron Williams, to be one of my favorite movies of all time. It's actually my favorite Christmas movie of all time. So did this movie live up to that hype that we all hoped for? Yes, in some regards. Now, when you add a great action star, which I consider the action star of our time, The Rock, to this movie, which is someone that could change up from action to comedy in an instant, of course he's gonna elevate this movie. Then you add his new duo partner, Kevin Hart, which they did a great job in their previous film, which of course was Central Intelligence, it's gonna elevate this movie. You add someone like Jack Black that loves to switch it up with his craziness, it's gonna elevate this movie. You add someone like Karen Gillan. Who's that? Well, if you've seen Guardians of the Galaxy 1, Guardians of the Galaxy 2, and you recognize half alien, half robot called Nebula, there, there she is. <laughs> you could also probably recognize her from a short-lived show called Selfie. Or, of course, you could recognize her from the great show called Doctor Who, where she played Amy Pond, a pivotal character for many seasons, one of his big companions. I would even say that she was basically the star of the show during that run. She's, you know, she's basically played this character, which is funny because it's basically a flip and a mixture of what she's now done in her career. When it comes to American films and, and TV shows, she's playing more of the beautiful, sexy, superficial, or in truth, you know, model with the mini skirt type of look. But when she did Doctor Who, she was playing the girl from next door. So it's actually a great job right here where she's basically doing both at once. So when you add all that, of course this movie is pretty good. Now the only problem is ultimately this film lacks the spirit and the heart of the original. It goes much more for the comedy. Now I could say there are a few emotional moments, but it doesn't succeed like the first one. And without giving too much away, what I would say, because I could complain about a few things, but those would be spoilers. So if you want, you could check out my spoiler review for that. But the one I could tell you now without spoiling anything, I would say the problem with this movie is, unfortunately, Kevin Hart, ultimately. Because everybody else is trying something new. The Rock is playing basically Shazam, a kid, a nerdy kid, in this huge body, which is ironic, or you could say funny, because he's gonna play the villain of Shazam soon called Black Adam. Then you could say someone like Jack Black is clearly trying something different. And then Karen Gillian is doing a mixture of her American films, which is playing more of the sexy model, in comparison to The Girl Next Door, which she did in Doctor Who. But then someone like Kevin Hart is playing Kevin Hart. And of course he's hilarious. But the problem is he keeps playing Kevin Hart and it's starting to get old. I mean, we could all agree with that. So that would basically be my only complaint without spoiling things. I could say I have a problem with the third act. But again, if you want more of that, go check out my spoiler review. And now it's time for me to rate the movie. And I give it stupid, 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 stupid. But I do acknowledge it was a steep mountain to climb. And I enjoyed the journey. And I think you guys will too, as long as you acknowledge what path is laid in front of you. So enjoy, and I hope you guys share, like, and subscribe. Until we meet again. See you guys.